thank you for visiting our channel. So today I want to share with you some suggestions to make your life easier when moving to Portugal. My name is Traffic Buzutil, co-founder of Porticon Bridge, where we help high net worth and ultra high net worth individuals just like yourselves achieve travel and financial freedom by becoming global citizens. The first and most crucial step when moving to Portugal is getting a NIF code. Essentially, this is a Portuguese tax number that you or your tax representative need to apply for. Every business or government entity you will be in contact with will ask you for your NIF or contribuent, as some people call it. Don't get confused, it's the same thing. You will need your NIF from signing a simple mobile phone contract service to signing your internet contract, utilities contract, to other significant issues such as opening a bank account, purchasing a property, applying for your D7 residence or your golden visa residence. In short, if you are going to reside or going to have a connection with Portugal, you need a Portuguese tax number. Otherwise, things cannot progress. How do you get this? There are mainly three ways. The first one, which I suggest, is engage the services of a tax representative. The second, you can visit the tax office or the Loja de Citadel in person. Usually there are long queues, so go early. Or the third, you can apply online for a nominal fee through websites such as nifonline.pt or eresidence.com. The price would range around about 99 euro and it will take approximately 10 days to receive your NIF. Should you wish, you can also pay an additional fee to receive it in three days, but this will set you back 299 euros. The tax department does not charge EU citizens for a NIF number. However, Third country nationals would have to pay a fee of 10 euro. The documents required to apply are simply proof of address, such as a utility bill, bank statement, your identification document, an ID or a passport, and that's it. However, I strongly suggest you engage the service of a tax representative who has to be a permanent resident of Portugal. They can be an accountant, a lawyer, or a friend who lives permanently in the country and is willing to take the responsibility their role carries in communicating with the tax department. I'm stressing the importance of engaging a tax representative because all correspondence between you and the tax authority is in Portuguese. If you visit the tax office, the officials there speak limited English. However, if you understand the language, then it's another story. Getting a NIF will not make you a tax resident in Portugal if you use a non-Portuguese address. However, always check with your financial advisor since all situations are different and need to be treated as such. So now that you have your NIF, you are set to move to the next stage, which is opening a bank account. There are various banks in Portugal. The banks I have worked with that offer a good service and have branches throughout Portugal are Novo Banco. Previously, it was called Banco Espirito Santo, BCP Bank, Santander Bank, Millennium Bank. However, one point of caution is that before you open a bank account, always ask the bank if they form part of the multibanco network. This means that the bank is part of an inter-bank network that links the ATMs of 27 banks across Portugal, allowing you to pay all your bills and very various transactions through more than 11 ATM locations nat nationwide. This service is extremely convenient and fast since you just enter the bill reference number and the amount and the transaction is done. Naturally, this can also be done online. 
for those interested in how the por Portuguese property market is performing or performing in the first nine months of the year, please click on the link above or find it in the description below. If you have any questions about moving to Portugal, feel free to add them to the comment section below. See you next time and make it a great day. Thank you.